Hey everybody, Christine here to make a short body review for the Resin Soul 60 centimeter girl body. This body is the one that has the double joints in the elbows and the knees. It normally comes with the me sculpt, but I actually have the Yoon head on it right now, which fits perfectly fine. So for this review, I'm going to be showing off the body, which means there will be dolly nudity after this section of the video. And I will be showing how she poses compared to other SD dolls that I have around the house. <laughs> Stay tuned. Before we begin, I wanted to show the front, side, and back of the doll close up. So here's what she looks like from the front. Here's what she looks like from the side. And you can see that her torso area curves quite a bit. And then here's what she looks like from the back. So here's the body. As you can see, I have it sitting down already. So here's what she looks like sitting. As you can see, when she sits down, her legs come out a little bit, but it doesn't hinder her ability to sit. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. So in her feet, she has a bit of motion, not too much. They can go up a little, can't keep the pose, but they can go up, they can go down, just a little. And then there's like almost no side motion. That's it. Um, she stands okay, as you see. She can't stand on one leg or anything crazy like that, but she can stand with ease, as you see. Now moving on to the knees, she is double jointed and she has this type of peanut which allows her to either bend her knee like this or bend her knee like this and then finally with both of them, cat. Mish. Mish. Okay, well. Now I have two nude things on camera, great. Anyway, I'm gonna try to keep going without moving my cat because she's just so cute, I can't. Anyway, um, as you can see, she can't bend her knee all the way, but when combined, she can sit like this. Let's see if she'll do it. Ta-da, Mish, come on, bro. <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulty. My cat decided to be on the table and it was kind of annoying. All right, anyway, so she does kneel. She sits on her legs kind of like this, but hey, she does it, right? So there's that. She does not have a mobility joint in her, or a swivel joint as it's sometimes called, in her thigh, but I'm pretty sure Resin Soul will put it if you ask. So I didn't, I just told them the 60 centimeter body that's double jointed and this is what they gave me. There we go. Alright, so moving up, um, she does have one joint in her torso. She doesn't have one here. Um, the other 60 centimeter body does, so they might switch it out if you ask. Let's see. So she does move forward, like so. It's not the prettiest, but she does it. And then she does move back. Again, you can sort of see the hole, but I mean, it works, especially if she has clothes on, it's not noticeable. Moving up to the arms. Um, as I mentioned, her body does curve. So her torso kind of goes like this and leans back. And because of this, her arms tend to fall behind her. As you can see, this is like their normal position. Um, if you try to make them go forward, they will stay like that, but then she kind of looks like she's going like this, which is also kind of weird. Um, a lot of times they will bend backwards and do this. So when her arms do that, it's like, it's really frustrating. And you can get them to go forward, but it's kind of a mission. So She doesn't come with double jointed hands, by the way. Um, I ordered these separately. I think they were $38. Um, she can touch her face. 
like so. And even with the regular hands that she comes with, she can. She can't hold her arm out um, in every pose, but she can hold this pose. She can't go up any higher. If you try to go lower, as you see, um, it kind of just goes behind her. That can be fixed by suading her, but I don't normally suede my dolls. Um, whatever pose they can do out of the box is usually how I lead them. So again, that's what she does when you try to fold her arm. Let's see. If you turn her arm like this, she can hold some poses up like so, but you have to twist this joint. She can also hold out her arm with this little, I guess it's like a ledge, and wherever you put the ledge, it'll hold her arm there. Then it goes right back in. So yeah, um, her arm, her wrist, excuse me. Her wrist does not have too much motion with the double jointed hands. I don't think it's much better with the regular hands. I didn't try them, but the ball is the same, so. Yeah, you can see that it, it doesn't really move too much up and too much down. And there's almost no side to side. Yeah. No, don't do that. <laughs> All right, now we are up to the neck. So this is, again, the Yoon head on the Mi body. So she can put her head up like that. She can put her head down quite a bit. And then she can go a little bit to the side, a little bit to the other side. And she can do some in-between poses like so. Yep, so her head motion is pretty good. Her arms are what kind of bothers me. The whole um, looking like a chicken thing, it's weird. Um, but the body itself is beautiful and it has very nice sculpting on the back. It has these two little dimples. It has um, the bones showing here from her shoulder blades. So it's very, very nice. It's nicely sculpted, but the posing in the arms can be a little finicky. So if you are okay with working with suading, which isn't too bad actually, uh, her arms can probably do quite a bit. But for me, they don't stay in the poses that I put them in most of the time because I don't suede her. So, see, she can do stuff like that. But she can't hold every pose. Now she looks like she's driving a car or something. <laughs> so yeah, that's my body review. And now I'm going to show you how she poses compared to two of my other dolls. I have the Fairyland Feeble 65, Chloe. And I have my other doll, the Imari Scraps is what this one is. I don't know if Imari has more than one 60 centimeter body, but this is the one that I'm going to be using for this video. I can't stand her up because she has healed feet, which is the only feet she came with, and I'm pretty sure that she doesn't stand, but I'm going to try anyway. And I'm going to show you guys the poses that they can do and how they look compared to each other. For this part, I'm only going to show pictures because showing like the whole process of me trying to get them in that position might take a long time and I don't want to make this video too long. So stay tuned. <laughs> 